This is a review of a few functions in Excel, which has been gone through in class. You can do this on your own, follow up, it's the raises file. We want to know the amount of the raise. It's a VLOOKUP. You can do an IF, but it's a nested three-way IF. You don't want to do that. It's they're good. This is the raise. If we want to name the range here, we could call it raise. Now go back over to here. We're going to determine the raise. So if you look at here, up here, you're going to be, know what it is, but it is, it's a double-headed formula. You're going to be doing the V lookup, and then after it's done, you're going to multiply that raise by the salary. So let's get started. We're going to look up in reference. We click on V lookup. The lookup value is good table array I could highlight if I want or type it in when it has raised that's fine if you don't have that you do a cell reference you've got to hit the F4 key and the column index number is the second column we type in a 2 we say OK you can also go up in here and edit it, but I'm going to do it the simple way. I say, OK. It's showing zero. It's actually a raise. It's rounding down. So I click on the formula bar. I multiply it by the salary. It's done. I pull it down. I want to see the new salary we add these two numbers up and as you can see Mary and Jeff are not getting a raise I want to total it up these three numbers here easy way highlight the three I go on the home tab I click on auto sum you get the railroad tracks widen the column double click I'm gonna do this one last okay it's a few extra features which I'm trying to encourage students to know let's say you want to know the largest raise you click over here you click on max I highlight these numbers you gotta look okay the smallest raise men I wanna know the average you can also type it in equal average left parenthesis highlight the correct cells I want to do the median rather than doing all these extra steps I type in equal median left parenthesis again I do it there so it's showing things here I want to talk about counting and if I were to do a count I click over here it says count it's counting numbers this is alpha we're counting the, the information in here so it is a count a not equal count so if I do this it's saying count what I'm going to do is highlight this and then I could have gone into statistical category count a alpha so we've got that this is good we only have a few things here but let's say you want to know all the excellent good poor whatever there is a count if function it's not on the test or quizzes but it's a really great thing to know so I go into formulas I go into here statistical I go into count if and this is the criteria the range and the criteria this is the range I'm trying to find all the excellent I gotta type it in if I don't spell it right it doesn't work right 
and I will again I could type it in equal count if left parenthesis comma quote good quote close it out equal count if range highlight you could type it I personally find it easier to use the mouse poor so watch this if I change Jeff to excellent autofill it changes the numbers that's the review on this keep practicing